Minister Murray says logging is one of the factors that contribute immensely, causing the sea levels to rise. That is the current matter in parts of Bougainville following a visit to the region. and tin ports are going down south to Buin. A lot of the land mass has been washed away by the actions of sea waves. According to the recent visit, regional MP Jamalili Liduna says 300 meters of land in Bougainville has been washed away in the last 45 years. Tamalili Dune says Bougainville has refugees of climate change as a result of industrial activities by the developed nations. This has caused many problems, including food security and displacement. And I sit here, not only representing my people as the first climate change refugees, but I also sit here as a victim. I am a victim of what is happening in the world. What the big industrialists are doing to this Mother Earth, I am a victim. You've see, clearly seen on the, the example that Minister had shown earlier on, on where he went to on the shorelines of Bougainville, where I come from. It is my village, it is my dwelling, it is where I plant my plantation. I have lost 300 meters of that. My whole life's gone. I am a displaced citizen of this global village. If waves continue washing away shorelines in parts of Bougainville, it may cause the government to resettle people as land becomes limited. Chamalili called on the government to address this with the support of U.S. government to prevent displacement and resettlement of its people. We are living in a modern age with cutting-edge technology. There are people regrowing corals in the world. They are reclaiming land in the world. I want our development partners. I am really happy that... Honorable Minister and the MD are having a conversation with John Kerry, Presidential Envoy of uh, Climate Change for the United States. Please, with your cutting edge technology, rebuild our atolls, reclaim our islands. You can do that. I do not need my people to be resettled. Oro Governor Gary Dufa, who has been vocal against illegal logging in the country, says logging cartels in the country have compromised and manipulated government departments like environment and conservation, land, mining, agriculture and forestry for the benefit of a few. He said those activities contribute to climate change. These departments were created to protect the interests of Papua New Guinea, not to protect mm. the interests of those who come here driven by greed and that have been destroying our environment to our detriment to a point where now we see what is happening, not just in Papua New Guinea, but around the world. Mr. Jufa says those who participate in this industry must be brought to the discussion table to discuss the future of the country because their selfish and greedy agendas has threatened the future of PNZ in many ways, including climate change. He says they need to be responsible for their actions. We cannot allow this particular group of people to continue to do this in our country. We're an independent country. We did not gain independence only to be recolonized by selfish cartels with their own greedy agenda. And this is why I am demanding that this government must bring them to the discussion table. Shape up or ship out. This must be the message. Mm. Our very future depends on it. We have a responsibility not just to Papua New Guinea, but the entire world. Alexis Sengi, National MTV News.